Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood iLad here, and boy am I excited. I finally got this really big job completely finished. Oh yeah. I have done a lot of work here on my base. Um, the pit is now completely lined with these massive columns and beams of dark oak wood. Um, I've gone ahead and let some vines do their thing to add some texture to it. This is not the only texture that will be on the walls. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I made my big grass donut down here that I'm walking on. And I've got that surrounded with water on the outside. And filled with <coughs> lava on the inside. Yeah, that's not really lava. Uh, the thing is, this is an active construction zone, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration does not want me uh, filling the floor with lava in an active construction zone. So, temporarily, I just sort of have the lava look a little bit with pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. That way you guys can see what it's going to look like eventually without me risking any of my contractors falling in and burning to death. Right? Right. Okay, um, I'm going to go up the ladder a little bit here. And I give you an idea of what it looks like from above. Ooh, my game's lagging a little bit. Frame rate's dropping. And there we have it. Nice big pumpkin pit. <coughs> Lava pit, yeah, and there you are. So I'm pretty proud of that. That took forever, um, but it's good to have it finished. You have to pardon my temporary scaffolding here. Um, one other job that I did is I went around the edges of the uh, or the inside walls of the lava pit. And I sort of textured those up. Got a nice mix of gravel, cobblestone, stone brick, cracked stone brick, and smooth stone. And that'll be similar to what I'm going to do on the outside walls of the pit. You can see some of it's already in place. Mostly where I backfilled from the excavation. Um, there's also probably going to be some dirt. I might take the dirt out, depending on if it gets on my nerves. Um, there will be some rougher texture out here. I'm going to use... There's a slime somewhere. It's probably down underneath us. I'm going to use some uh, cobblestone fences, maybe some cobblestone stairs to add pits and, and roughness to the walls. Um, there's going to be some mossy cobblestone, mo or, uh, yeah, mossy stone brick, stuff like that mixed in. I didn't necessarily want all of that here on the, uh, the lava pit. I didn't feel like moss would be growing that close to the hot lava, right? But the outer walls, where it's cooler and, and whatever, more exposed to the elements, I thought, those, those should definitely have more texture going on. So anyway, um, over here you might notice there's a hole back behind the columns. And what I've been doing back here is preparing to build a storage room. This is where all my storage for the base is going to be. It's not necessarily going to fit into this section that I have hollowed out, although it most likely will. Um... I'll just have to see. But today, one of my projects is to get the first parts of the storage system built. It's going to be bulk storage, and the bulk storage is mostly going to go here and here. And then an alcove back here, I'm going to install some overflow storage for items that don't get sorted into the bulk storage. So today we're just keeping it simple. I'm not building the full storage system. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is I'm not ready to move my full base over. So I'm not going to need storage for lots and lots of different items. But what I do need 
is a way to clear out all the chests that I've got up here at ground level. And it's a lot of chests. You'll see in a second. Yeah, this has been my temporary base camp, you know, a little tree farm over here, uh, crafting table, ender chest, stuff like that. Throughout the excavation of the pit, I brought a lot of the raw material, the cobble and the smooth stone and whatnot, and filled up these chests with it. And now, ooh, frame rate drop again. Now I've got a lot of stuff that needs to get out of here. So I'm going to be moving all this stuff down into the bulk storage areas of the storage room. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here and start building in the storage. It's going to be sorted storage, automatically sorted. So it's going to take a little bit of redstone, a good many hoppers. You know, stuff like that. You've seen it before. I don't have any revolutionary new designs or anything. Um, so I'm going to get on that. And I will check back with you when it's done. two bulk storage towers. Each one has ten double chests. Uh, this one over here is going to be for smooth stone. This one's going to be for cobblestone. Um, actually, I think I'm going to do one side for smooth stone and one side for dirt. Because I've got, you know, smaller amounts of either of those. Uh, but this definitely needs to be cobblestone. And this is not going to be enough. I'm going to expand this as I get all those chests up there kind of emptied out. And I'll be chopping those chests up and I'm bringing them down here and expanding the bulk storage even more. Uh, also, I want to go ahead and point out that I won't necessarily keep all those materials in the places that I'm about to put them. This might end up being permanent. Or it might end up being just sort of a temporary thing while I make progress on getting the base up and running permanently. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish filling out this temporary floor, possibly temporary floor, uh, with slabs. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Did I say finish? I meant um, add slabs until I run out. Yeah, oh well. Um, it's not all that important, but I did want to kind of get an idea for what this would end up looking like. Uh, ideally, I want to be able to get a nice, good view of the whole pit from these big openings here. Without interrupting the, the pattern of columns and beams. Um, but anyway, I'll finish that up another time. Alright, so... Behind all these chests, I've got simple hopper chutes coming down and across the top up above the ceiling there I'm going to put a horizontal line of hoppers just kind of bringing them along there's going to be your standard sorting system up there uh, and temporarily only temporarily I'm going to loop the hoppers back so that everything just continually goes in this great big loop there will be Hmm. Actually, I'm rethinking that. Maybe I won't do the loop. I don't know. I'll I'll get working on it, figure out what works, and what'll do the easiest job of sorting everything in, and I'll get back to you. Oh, 
All right, so here's what we've got. Um, almost ran out of room to build this because if you look right back here, it's a big ravine system. But I did manage to squeeze everything in. Um, this is going to be the line of hoppers that comes along right here. And as it passes through here, these filters will kind of filter out the stuff that I did this wrong. Just a moment. Uh, the filters will eventually filter out the stuff that, um, that I'm looking for for this part of the storage. Cannot believe I did this wrong. No, wait, no, I can believe I did that wrong. Actually, I need the hopper line a little bit up higher, don't I? Just like that. All right, so anyway, as I was saying, here's the line of hoppers coming along. And as material feeds through here, the filters will suck out the appropriate stuff and deposit it in the chest down below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start testing this. Uh, this one is going to be for dirt. And what I want for this is 22 or 23 dirt. I can't remember. It's been a while. 22 dirt in this one. This line is going to be for smooth stone. So let me go ahead and pull a bunch of that out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And if I feed the smooth stone into the hopper line, it should all get filtered into the appropriate chest. Nothing's making it down here to the end. Let's go down below. I know there's some building materials already in those chests. Uh, they got in there while I was building. Yep. But here's the ex excess dirt. And here's the smooth stone coming in. Got 29 now. 13 dirt. Let me go and check that one more time. Let's see. 13, 29. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, and I'll probably run into the ravine again. Um, but this is basically how it's all going to work. Um, I think I'll do this one on camera while we let our, our test run go uh, so that you can kind of see how to build it if you don't already know. I'm sure most of you do. Um, just got to hollow uh, enough space out back here to kind of have room to work. Uh, let's see, need a little bit of a pit down here. Nope, I don't actually. Oh, sorry about that. Get my, uh, my computer randomly decided to mess up. I was wrong about needing a pit down here. I don't actually. Um, that's what I was thinking about. Let's see, go ahead and just fill that in. I don't really need that. Sorry, my computer seems completely determined to not behave itself while I'm recording here. Um, anyway, let's see, I need a couple of torches. Actually, I'm going to need, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. I'm going to need 12 torches in all four comparators and, and uh, repeaters, if I counted right. see, plop down some dust, build myself some repeaters. Hey, I'm out of smooth stone. Okay, guys, um, all 29 smooth stone made it down. Somehow we lost three dirt, which bothers me. Where'd my three dirt go? didn't go there. It's not still there. It was probably lost in some of the other chest. I don't know. I'll sort it out later. 
Anyway, as I was saying, I need torches on the sides of these blocks. I'm going to replace these blocks with some dark oak so that I can clearly tell do not remove these blocks when I happen to be digging through that ravine back there. Um, on top of those we have some hoppers. You're going to be pointing into that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to go ahead and place those. Whoa. Try that again. Ah, stop it. Stop it. There we go. Okay. Um, back behind that, in ravine territory, almost, we have repeaters are going to be pointing into this. Just leave those on the default one tick. Um, coming out of some dark oak wood again. We've got, or some dark oak planks. We've got some redstone. And on top of that, we've got our comparators. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, remember, folks, public service message here. Always light up your redstone. Last thing you want is a creeper finding an excuse to blow up all your mechanisms. Um, the actual filtering hoppers are going to be on top of these, but they're not going to point into the hoppers. They're going to point actually into the comparators. Alternatively, they could point this direction, but you know, opposite to the way I just pointed them, but this works just fine. And finally... The hopper line comes right across the top here, if I have enough. I don't quite have enough. Joy, oh joy, oh joy. Uh, six, I'm out. I need three more hoppers. Really, I need more than that. But um, hmm. Anyway, so there you go. That's how to build it. Uh, the... These two lines are both going to be sorting cobblestone. And we should find all our excess cobblestone down below. So there you have it. Let's go fetch our cobblestone. And the bulk storage is pretty well done except for just connecting the, the last few hoppers up. Uh, the next step after I do that is going to be to get a rail line started. I need a minecart track running. Whoops. Excuse me. need a minecart track running from my chest up top down to the hopper line so that I can just do a simple minecart unloading station zip a was stupid lag zip a minecart up to the chest and just have it running back and forth i'm not aiming for super efficiency on that i might not do any kind of a check to make sure the minecart is full before i send it on its way again um because truthfully i'm not sure that i really care all that much uh, the minecart's going to be running pretty much full time while we're working on the rest of the base, gradually emptying out these chests. I really can't be bothered to make it hyper efficient since it's just temporary anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll probably just zoom underneath a lot of these chests, picking up whatever items it has time to, double back, and then head down for the unloading station. The unloading station will be a pretty efficient design. It's just the loading I don't really care to optimize. Um, so I will craft up some new hoppers and get back with you. Alright guys, here's my minecart unloader. Uh, it's very very simple. There's a hopper down underneath the track. There's a comparator coming out of it. 
there's uh, here I'll show you there's a torch back here hovering over the ravine almost yeah um, and there's redstone dust next to this block so when a loaded minecart is sitting on here items are being sucked down into the hopper which turns on the comparator that's next to it pointing into this block which turns off the torch which turns off the power which turns off the rail so the minecart doesn't zip back again um, let me go ahead drop the hopper minecart on there whoa laggy 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 And the minecart goes up. Uh oh, it's dark outside. I better sleep before I go up to the surface. Alright, so up at the surface, assuming everything works correctly, minecart gets stuck. Yeah! Now the minecart kind of zips under all these chests. It's an obstruction at the end. It's supposed to reverse direction. Uh, you don't know about this, guys. Hmm. This is not really what I was looking for. Yeah, man. You go do your thing. Alright, let me just uh, let me just adjust this a little bit. Give it a little bit more room to maneuver. See, it also got stuck right there. Yeah. And then it should be unloading right now and turn around and come back. Um, I've got a little bit of work to do up here. I'm going to drop some stuff off that I don't need anymore. I'm going to um, repair my iron pick right here. I'm using iron instead of diamond because it's easier at the moment because, uh, due to the fact that I'm almost out of diamonds. Um, I do have some villagers I can trade diamond picks to, but it's a lot of trouble and I didn't feel like doing it today. Um, so I'll check back with you in a couple minutes. Uh, did you see that? That worked perfectly. Um, I am going to de-stupidify this. It's bad enough as to dodge around my ladder there, but there's no reason for it to go uphill that way. Um, oh, yeah, there was. There was absolutely a reason. What am I thinking? It brings it into contact with that chest up above. And I lost... Uh, rail down the ladder. I'm in rare form today, ladies and gentlemen. Rare form. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go follow the rail down. Uh, follow the rail down if I can stay ahead of it. And see if I can't find where all the stuff's going to. It should have gone into the chest, but who knows. Yep, I barely beat it down. That's right, do your work. Ha, ha, ha. It's a little slow. It'll get there, though. Um, one thing I did do, due to a planning error, I found that I ended up on the opposite side of the storage room from what I intended. So I reversed this whole line of hoppers to point in the opposite direction instead. That also means that the unsorted items filter, or the unsorted items stack, is going to be moved to the opposite side from where I'd excavated for it. That won't really be a problem. 
more of an annoyance, you know, a little bit of a facepalm moment. Hey, cool! Okay, not so much with the cobble yet. In fact, that cobble's not even supposed to be in there. I'm a little bit worried about why it's going in this chest first. Yeah, that seems wrong. Let me see what I did wrong up here. Oh, okay, it's working now. Um, I guess some of the hoppers up there were pointed wrong. I just tore a bunch of them out and replaced them, and now it seems to be doing just fine. Uh, yeah, every, you know, every 20, 30 seconds I hear the minecart arrive, stuff gets dropped off. The reason why I'm not getting anything in here is because none of the chests the minecart is draining right now are actually holding smooth stuff. They're, no, I take it back. They're not actually holding dirt. But, you know, as it's bringing smooth stone down here and cobble over here, I'm very happy that it's it's getting work done. Now, you know, I'll have to check periodically, and as those chests that it's draining completely empty out, of course what I'll do is I'll, uh, you know, either bump the track up or stack some hoppers on top of it or whatever so that it continues draining down through those chests. Won't be a big deal, be pretty easy. Um, and over time, no rush, it'll get the job done. And that's very happy. So I think I'm actually going to call it quits right here. I think, uh, I think that took about 10 times as much time as I wanted it to, but you know what? It's a big step, and as we keep working on the rest of our projects here in the pit, that sorting system will just gradually clear out my chest so that I won't have to worry about it later and get it all in one go. One thing that I will do before the next episode is build a nice little staircase, sort of going straight up from grass donut down here to storage room up there. Um, and I think that'll make it a lot easy to, easier to get around up here. I won't have to do this little number right here. Ah! Bye! Anyway, uh, that's it for now, folks. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.